Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, 8.40 a.m. Let's get our morning off to a good start. Let's get some water. We are on our way to the gym. We're going to Allo this morning, getting trained by my boy Gio. I'm meeting Vinny there. Vinny had a day off of work today. Usually, I work out by myself. When we have days like this, when we're both free in the morning for a bit, we're able to meet up and do like an actual workout, which is nice. Yeah, I woke up pretty tired, I can't lie. Like, it wasn't one of those mornings when you wake up and you're like, oh, let's attack the day. Yeah, I woke up and I kind of like dreaded it. I usually try to get up around like 7.30, 8, sometimes earlier if I go to bed earlier, but. It's not me, dickhead. Yesterday, I just got back from Columbus, Ohio. A really fun trip, actually. Shout out Seabus. Seabus is fun. That's what we have on our agenda for right now. And then we have a few other things today that I'll take you along with. I need coffee. That's always my dilemma in the morning. Do I have coffee before or after I work out? And usually I get it after because it's like a little reward. I recently gathered the knowledge that it's not good to have coffee within like the first hour and a half that you wake up. And I'm like, oh, well there goes that. But I swear that's like with anything. Like as soon as I like gain some new knowledge, I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'll start applying this. Like, you know, self betterment. I feel like we're just so accessible to so much knowledge nowadays. It's kind of overwhelming. I'm definitely going into the, to the workspace today in the second home to get some work done. Cause I have a few things that I have to crank out before going home for winter break. Thank God. I'm kind of checked out for 2023 here. Like I just want, I don't even want 2024 yet. I just want that time at home for the holidays. Like I'm so ready to just be at home and disconnect from everything. I'll just be super detailed with the day so you know exactly how my Monday is. It's not the most exciting Monday ever, but it's my day in the life. <laughs> this is how my assistant puts in my workouts at Aloe on my calendar. Vinny spotting. All right, workout done. Complete, done with that. Now in the garage at Aloe, good little workout. Aloe's so funny, Aloe is just like, it's literally like a social club more than like a gym at this point. Every time I come here, I see like friends, I see people that I haven't seen in a while, I'm like, oh my God, hey. So like, you kinda, I'm like shaking because of that workout. <laughs> but I also am drinking a nice little recovery smoothie. But that being said, couldn't stay too long after because I was gonna like cold plunge and sauna, but I have a call in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna try to rush home real quick and then uh, take a shower, freshen up for that. And then I'm gonna go to the second home office with uh, Anna, We're gonna get some work done. And then we'll make a little day out of it. Stay in tune, stay in touch, stay tuned. That was a combination, stay in tune. That could work, like that might catch on, stay in tune. All right, bro, stay in tune. We're up to something here. We did this. Hello, guys. Okay, we're back home. I have six minutes before I gotta hop on this call. I'm hopping on the call with the, the winners of the EFIS K-12 
campaign from the casting call in New York. So I'm just gonna hop on, say hi, congratulate them, and then have it a bit more personalized and nothing really in particular. Uh, we're gonna tell them like the dates of where we're looking to shoot for the 2024 campaign that they'll be helping with. But I just got word from my team that I also, you know, a brand will reach out and be like, hey, we'll pay Noah this to promote this. Like that's a brand deal, that's how it works in that case. So let me just kind of give you guys a little spark note version. So I've been working with Balmon. Been working with them for a while now. I have a great relationship with them. They're an amazing brand. Love them, love Olivier, who is the creative director. So they were like, hey, we have these new shoes. Does Noah want, like we'll give Noah this amount if he promotes this. So the other day, that's what I did. I went into a studio and just shot and promoted their new shoes. And so I basically got the photos back from the photographer like two days ago. And then I made my selects of like which ones I want to post, sent them over to Balmain over in France. And then they basically are like, love it, approved. But that's the tricky thing. When it's not approved, that's when things get a little like, oh, okay, you have to reshoot or can he tweak this? So, but luckily they're amazing and uh, they trust me for the most part. So <laughs> scary, right? Like who trusts me? That got approved. So I just got word from my team that that can go live today. So I'm going to post the Balmain photos. I'll post after the call, and then after I post, I'm gonna shower, and then after I shower, I'm gonna go to second home. Chop, chop, chop. And then in the meantime, I'm also posting on Snapchat. <laughs> it's a lot, it's fun, but it's like, it's a lot, but it's not, you know? Like, I'm very fortunate to be doing what I'm doing. It's just like, you're just never really off the clock. Like, that was my team again being like, oh, wait, hold on. Control, you can control. So I have a call in two minutes, so I'm gonna go set that up. That was a wrap on the call. It was a quick little, just like 20 minute catch up, 25 minute, you know, getting some FaceTime with the winners and yeah, just kind of congratulating them, getting to know them a bit more, uh, getting feedback from the casting call uh, back in New York and then kind of giving them a little bit of details and information regarding the Ethie's campaign in mid January. Everyone seemed excited. I'm, I'm really, that, that right there kind of like solidified like I'm glad we chose who we chose. Everyone was so sweet. Such amazing looking humans. So yeah, I'm really excited. And now I am going to post the Balmain. Yes, okay, I'm greenlit, I can go. So I'm gonna post those on Instagram right now and then I'm going to shower and I'm gonna head to second home to meet Anna and we're gonna crank out some stuff, kind of get my life structured a bit. Someone has to do it, am I right? <laughs> looks incredible <laughs> I got myself the broccoli bowl I wouldn't even call it a broccoli bowl because it's it's just like a protein bowl it originally came comes with like arugula um, crispy shallots and some other green thing I got broccoli rice grilled chicken egg and salmon so we're not lacking in the protein department today for lunch I'm about to tear this up get some work done we're finalizing schedule for tomorrow because tomorrow's kind of a busy day I don't know it's just hectic it's kind of just all over the place. So, figuring that out, stay tuned. <laughs> there he is. Hello everyone, so sorry about that. I was on the wrong link. Girl, where are you? I'm in second home, it's like a workspace. It's kind of fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hello everyone. Okay, it is now 3.39 p.m. We've been very productive. We have had a total of three calls today. Some good ones. 
some very productive, insightful calls, getting scheduling for like days like tomorrow, and then putting the final touches on my Hawaii trip that I leave for in three days. Really excited for that. And then yeah, just little little tedious things, but have to be done, you know? But in the meantime, while I have a little, little bit of break, I guess, I'm gonna look through some of the questions from Snapchat that you guys, that I had you guys ask me. First one by Matthew on Snapchat. You ever heard of Ligma? Anna, have you heard of Ligma? <laughs> no. Have you? Wait, uh, is this some sexual joke? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Devin Paul hit me with, why do you not eat salmon? I don't know who informed Devin that I don't eat. I eat an unhealthy amount of salmon. Like an actually concerning amount of salmon, I think. You just had salmon today. I know. I have a lot of salmon, now that I think about it. Like I have salmon, I would say every two to three days. That's pretty much what I rotate through. Yeah. Eggs, <laughs> rice, chicken, steak, fish. Coralie says, I don't know what to ask you. You answer a lot of questions in your stories. This is true. Like, I feel like you guys are running out of questions because you guys know everything about me. If you could be any animal, what would it be? First things first, my mind goes to like, I want to fly. Like I don't want to be like hunted. Bald eagle would be. It could be a bald eagle. I think being a bald eagle would be so <laughs> sick because okay, what's another option? It's, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to like hunt bald eagles. I'm pretty sure the bald eagle is like the top of the food chain in terms of like air animals. Like who's gonna be attacked? Alpha. Alpha. An elf? No, alpha. Like you want to be? <laughs> Never mind. What's alpha? Like lead. Leave me. Ah, of course. Yeah, I don't want to be like a pigeon. That would suck. Do you miss Love on Tour every single day? Would you ever encourage your friends to wear EVs? Absolutely. What a silly question by Charlie Sutton. I don't actually don't have to do any encouraging. All of them love him. Everyone, like word of mouth, every person that I've given EVs to, like just friends and family, they're all like, dude, you suck, but the underwear are amazing. It's word for word what Tyler said. Shout out um, to Tyler. Shout out Tyler. Coffee mukbang while answering Q&A. There's a video idea. Maybe not this video, but we've kind of done some, something similar to that. Nicole says, <laughs> word for word, you want a list or something? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Fine, here's a few. What's your favorite Christmas tradition? My, my favorite family tradition, and I know this is gonna sound so cliche, but it's like less of me opening gifts because I don't really like opening gifts as much because it's like, I'm much more of a giver. I love giving gifts. Like giving someone a good gift and it knowingly, like knowing that it means a lot to them. It's not a tradition. Opening gifts? Okay, yeah, but that's very okay. basic. Very, that's vague, Let's okay. give them something exciting Cause then I would say like, oh, like I love, you know, hopping into a car and like going Christmas light looking, I guess. That's fun. Yeah, that is fun. I love a good campfire and I don't think that's very Christmassy, but that's like a winter time thing, I guess. But I love like sitting around a campfire making s'mores. I love baking holiday treats. Yeah. My mom is very good at that. Shout out to mama. What was the dessert we talked about the other Buckeyes. day? Buckeyes. Yes! Buckeyes. Buckeyes. Do you know what? Let's link to the recipe. Like, we have to link to I'm it. asking you like you would answer. Do you guys like Buckeyes? If you don't know what a Buckeye is, it is a peanut butter ball coated in like chocolate and frozen. And it is, uh, I can't stress this enough. Like I think I put on a good 10 to 20 pounds over the, over the holiday times because of these Buckeyes. Okay, Nicole also, Nicole, I mean, this is the whole YouTube video right here, Nicole's questions. She also said, What's a mannerism you can't seem to break? Interesting question. I'm a victim of biting my nails sometimes. Not in an unhealthy way, just sometimes like I'll just kind of like, if I feel like a nail like uneven, or if I have a hank, I'm biting it. I think your mannerism from working with you is oh. Noah. Enter, the, enter this. Talking in a British accent or some type of accent. Really? When I first met him, I thought, <laughs> literally, no, I'm not even kidding. And anyone that's met him has asked me too, like, does he have an accent? I thought he had an accent when I first met him. Wait, what? And so then now that I've been working with him, I start to say certain things and I'm like, that's because I'm literally hearing it 24 seven from you. Like I, I'm not doing it on purpose. Like it's not like, I don't want people to be like, oh, he randomly just starts, cheerio. Like it's not like- It's certain words that you can not see. Okay, I've, I've actually gotten that before, but I don't know how to change it. No, like, it's just- you. Yeah, it's just how I talk. I lick my lips. I do that quite often, so that leads to me getting chapped lips every once in a while. I also think you you think you're an incredible multitasker. Why not? not. No. <laughs> <laughs> the worst multitasker I know. What's been your favorite Christmas gift over the years? Mm -hmm. I don't like this question. Nicole, do better. I think the happiest gift I've ever received, I remember opening it and I was genuinely like, let's go. It was a Nintendo DSi. Of all the classic rom-coms, which one would you want to be in? It's not even which one's your favorite, which one would you want to be in? Just because I watched this the other day, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, 
I feel like playing that Matthew McConaughey role would be very fun. Imagine I just throw a curveball. I think playing Kate Hudson in that would be amazing. <laughs> Friends with Benefits. That's a good one. Holiday's good. That's a good one. Yeah, I actually like Holiday. I do too. The Probably. Notebook. That, the that Notebook. Would be Noah. A hard His role. name's Noah. No. I would love to play Ryan Gosling, like a young Ryan Gosling. The Notebook. One of my favorite movies. And his name's Noah. That's like meant to be, please. Single? Question mark? Mm -hmm. Yep. I am. Do you like wrapping your presents, yes or no? I hate wrapping. I am such a bag guy. Like I put my stuff in a bag, put some tissue paper over it, write my name on the side on a little sticky, like a little sticky note or a sticker, this throw it under the tree. Unless it's like a box, like a proper box, then I'm like, okay, I'll go through the trouble of wrapping. But I'm not very good at wrapping, I can't lie. Like I know some people that are really good and will put like a bow on it. I'm like, I'm gonna destroy this anyway. Like I'm gonna rip through this wrapping paper, so. Interesting question by Itzel. How did you gain confidence with fashion? In parentheses, you seem way more com comfortable and confident in what you wear now than before. Finding my style. I don't know, it's just how you like carry yourself. Like I feel like I've just become more confident as a person over this past like year than I was. So it wasn't really the clothes, honestly. It was more of like, who I am and like being confident in myself, so. But then obviously like, yeah, like what you're wearing plays a big role into like how you feel that day. And so if I have like a good outfit on and I feel like I look good and I feel good, it's like, I'm probably going to, going to appear a lot more confident. <laughs> what did you get your parents for Christmas? I can't really say this right now, Emily, because this video will be out before Christmas and my parents watch my YouTube videos, so. Do they watch every single one? They do. Did they watch? I've noticed that when I went back home and looked up on the TV, like I'm able to see their their search history on YouTube, and it was just, it was like Noah Beck, like and I was like, oh, love them. Can't spoil it, but you will find out soon enough. What are your thoughts on collabs? Would you have people in your videos ever? Of course. And if you look back on my channel, I used to do collabs a lot, but then yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've kind of this channel has become a lot more of like my day in the life kind of vibe, coming with me like on travel. I don't know, my YouTube's kind of skewed a lot a lot less in the direction of like big fun challenges with friends. And I know like I miss those days, trust me. Like I wish I had friends that were down to just do that all the time, but people kind of go their separate ways. And I don't know, reunion soon, hopefully, maybe. Or new people. I, who wants to collab? This is an open yeah. invitation. Comment or comment who I should collab with and like what we should do. So if you guys name people you guys want me to collab with and what we would do, let me know. I think that would be fun. Fave kind of coffee. Well, Kyle. I am on this journey right now. To be honest, I might be a new lover of flat whites. I would say flat white, latte, cappuccino. For me, nothing beats like a good iced vanilla latte. Like I love it. It's like, it feels like dessert in a cup, but it's not quite as desserty as like a frappuccino. What keeps you motivated with fitness, Maddie? Asks. I would say it's less about motivation, and I know it's gonna sound weird. Motivation's pretty inconsistent, you know what I mean? I like to rely on things that can be consistent and that I can kind of control. And like some days I wake up and I don't wanna work out. And like that's just how it is. Like motivation is so hit or miss. Like there are some days where I don't wanna work, I don't wanna post, I don't wanna do anything. Look, I know, sometimes I'm just checked out and it's like ultimately like what you can control is the discipline of it. You know, like there's gonna be days where you don't wanna do something but you have to do it because yourself in the future will thank you for doing it and pushing you through that like mental block so uh, that's kind of well said your favorite fall winter pieces in your closet oh that's something to do I will definitely do a closet tour when my closet is oh, yeah. is done when my whole house is done you guys will get a full to. tour you guys will get everything I promise like the house is almost done uh, here's a good question does caffeine affect you with how much you drink coffee you know what's funny? It's not funny. Caffeine just like doesn't, I swear it doesn't affect me. I could stop drinking coffee right now and it wouldn't affect anything, I don't think. There's a ton of research and like studies on coffee. Like when you drink coffee straight up, coffee can be very, very like beneficial to your health and like very healthy depending on how you take it. So that is something that I learned, which is another reason as to why I drink it. Cause it's like, eh. yes, I'm aware that sometimes like I get an ice vanilla latte and it kind of takes away those benefits, but it's good and it's more about the routine for me. Like I like coffee because I like waking up in the morning and like I like look forward to that cup of coffee. You know what I mean? But at any moment I could stop it. Like I'm not, I don't have a very like addictive personality. Hear me out, Efi's try on video, what could go wrong? Yeah guys, I'll just try on my Efi's in front of camera. <laughs> I think that's good for now. I think that was a good little, rather long segment of a little Q and A in the midst of the work day. It is now 4 p.m. 
So we'll finish some things here. I'm about to pee myself, so I'm about to go to the bathroom, and then we'll go about the rest of our day. I guess that, that's a question of itself. Like, what do you guys think about dating apps? Online dating. <laughs> Online dating. I have one. I've only ever had one. I have Raya. I don't go on it anyway, but if you see me on Raya, no, you didn't. <laughs> It's about that time, wrapping up here. It is 6, 11 p.m. We've been here since like noon. So, productive day. Kind of finalized everything. Little tedious things before the holidays. Camera's about to die, but I'll get home and charge it and then we'll, we'll get ready for bed together. So, we're about to head out here. About to be done for the day. I'm gonna charge you guys up and we're gonna get home and then probably shower, order some dinner. Maybe watch a movie. Let's unwind for the night, shall we? It's been a it's been a good productive day. All right, guys. So with Christmas being right around the corner, my family does this thing where we kind of send in lists. Of, it's very loose. You know, you don't have to get me this, but if you did, I wouldn't be wouldn't be mad about it. Fortunately, my sisters both had a pair of shoes that I didn't really know where to find those, like in person. So then I looked on Go and they had them, and they're actually both under the Instant tab, where if you order by December 18th at 11 a.m you'll get it before the Christmas. So that's come in handy for me. Done a lot of Christmas shopping on here for my dad. For example, a lot of shoes, a lot of just anything really. It has home goods, it has accessories, it has shoes, clothes, and same goes for my mom. And lucky for you, I actually put together myself a nice little gift guide, if you will, stuff that I'm getting for myself, but also for my family. And I'm gonna create a link and put that down in the description below of all of my top selects for the holidays. about to have ourselves a night right now. Look at this. Gonna watch me some Captain Captain America Civil War because that's what I'm on. So I'm watching the Marvel movies right now in chronological order with like, I, it's something to look forward to at the end of the day. Do whatever I have to do in the day and then starting like when I finish my day around like six or seven, eight sometimes, ordering like comfort food and then putting on a Marvel movie. Sometimes I can double up and that gets crazy. That like, gets kind of nuts. Last night I watched Ant-Man today. I'm on Civil War. So you see here I have the full list of how I gotta watch it chronologically. So we're on Civil War. I've seen all of them because I'm a big Marvel guy, but it's cool watching them back. They don't make them like they used to. I can't lie, the ones, some of the first Marvel movies, like even though it's chronological, but like the ones that were made, like this one's 2016, different, like they're so good. The ones nowadays aren't that good. Let's see what we got for dinner, shall we? Oh, you know it's gonna be good when it comes in one of these. But we got ourselves a rainbow roll, and then we have, okay. Give that a look. Give that a look. Got a little three scoop bundle. I got shrimp, spicy tuna, crab, and albacore. And then I got this little, sh the shrimp shumai. And here we go. Let's go. All right guys, time to wind down. It is time for bed. So before bed, we're gonna get into a skincare routine. Some of you out there may not know or have a skincare routine. So, and that's totally fine. Like you gotta start somewhere. I don't know, it's forever changing, isn't it? Like I feel like every time like I'll get sent a new product, I'll try it and I'll be like, wow, this works way better than my previous product. So I'm gonna continue to use this one or vice versa. You kind of just constantly educate yourself constantly. I feel like a skincare routine is constantly ever evolving. And of course, like I said, some things will swap in and out here and there just depending on how my skin reacts to it. 
But recently I found this new skincare brand and this isn't paid, this isn't a promotion, like I've had no contact with them. I just had a friend put me onto them and I was like, wow, I love this. Did a bit of research on it and I was like, I love this even more because it's organic skincare product. So all the stuff on your skin, it's not a ton of ingredients. It's just, it's a lot of natural stuff, which is amazing. Typically this is an every night thing for me. Every night, every morning, um, it's one of those things that I kind of, in the mornings more than nighttime, I'd say, I look forward to waking up after the gym, get all sweaty, that kind of thing, taking a cold shower and just, you know, putting on a fresh face, fresh face of skincare products. And you just go on about your day feeling very clean. Like nothing beats that feeling for me of just feeling clean and I love it. And I, I feel like I'm a very hygienic person I try to be and that's why I take so much pride in my skincare here we go first what I like to do at night like, like I was saying in the morning I, I feel like I look forward to it a lot more than at night because at night I'm usually exhausted and just want to go to bed so let's get after it so hands are clean get your hair out of your face splash a little water on my face in the mornings I like to do cold water at night I switch it up typically I like to do warm just because it feels good and it's kind of relaxing at the end of the night my cleanser is in the shower right now because I usually do my cleanser in the shower. So that's there. This is what it is, Eminence. Organic skincare and this stuff, every product has like a different smell to it. It's a different kind of like natural ingredient and I love it. Like, I don't know, this one, let me explain to you that. Let me give you what I'm feeling. Rub it in, circular motions. This cleanser is very, just very earthy. Like it feels like I'm rubbing like like a plant on my face right now. I don't really know how to explain it. Make sure that's rubbed in. Let that sit for a sec. Like don't think I'm an expert on this. Like I'm not an esthetician. Like take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. This just works for me and I've like done my research. Feels good and what works. You dab it dry with a towel if you will. After I cleanse, I'm gonna hit myself with this which is a stone crop hydrating mist. Just to kind of set it, I guess. And then I'm gonna go in with this bamboo firming oil. Firming fluid, actually. This is like a natural retinol, and this stuff just feels good. I don't know how to describe the smell on this one. Like, I don't wanna say bamboo, that would kind of be cheating, because it is, but I, I can't lie, I don't think I've ever like put my face in bamboo and smelt it like that, but I feel like if I were to, this is what it would smell like. My skincare routine in the morning and night are slightly different, slightly. In the mornings, I'll throw on this Rose Ship Triple C Plus E Firming Oil, and then at night, I use this one, Clear Skin Willow Bark Booster Serum. I don't know why I use one or the other. I'm sure if I switched them, I wouldn't notice. A skincare routine does not need to be complicated at all. I don't know, as I've kind of gained a bit more knowledge, it's, it's like fun trying new product and seeing what sticks. I feel like my skincare routine has gone from like two steps to three steps, to like six steps back down to four. And I'd say it now, it's at like four or five. I don't know. This stuff smells like kind of like woodsy. But see at this point, like my face just, just starts to feel clean. I love it. But then after the serum, the oil that I just put on, I'm gonna come in with this. This is a mangosteen gel moisturizer. It's this little thing. I get a nice little, little finger. This stuff spreads really well, I can't lie. Like it's light. Feeling good, feeling clean. And then, this is the Marine Flower Peptide Eye Cream. This stuff, it kinda, I don't really, you just kinda put it around your eyes. So yeah, that pretty much was my nighttime skincare routine. And then, sometimes I'll come in with, with this, this is argan oil, and I've seen this, like I've seen videos on TikTok, I never have too much product apparently. And the argan oil, I'll kinda come in sometimes. And this might be weird, This is, don't judge me on this, but I've seen people do this, and like I started doing it, and I feel like I noticed kind of a difference. I'll come in with this and I'll drip some, oh, but I'll just kind of come in and just go in with my eyebrows right there. And then with the leftover, again, don't judge me. This might be weird to some people. I'll go into my eyelashes actually and just go like this because apparently the argan oil like makes it grow. I'll brush my teeth and then I guess I'll do my aquaphor right now because this is, I'm like full on showing you guys everything that I do. Aquaphor, a little on the lips. And then again, like with the leftover, I'm very good at using like leftovers. Like I'm not, I don't really like to waste product, I guess. And then I'll come in like under my, like around my nostril, sometimes it gets dry. I have this hand cream from Locutane, another amazing skincare brand that actually sent me stuff. So shout out them. This hand cream is really good. Just makes your hands feel like butter. I have this as well. 
this like shea butter body cream also from Locutane that Locutane I'm definitely saying that wrong I know for a fact I'm saying that wrong so I don't want to hear it but this stuff's great I'll literally throw this on after the shower like as soon as I get out of the shower I'll rub this in and just throw it all over my body so I'm like slippery like a seal after the shower again Locutane but this is shea butter other than like a cream this is more of like a, it's kind of, it works like chapstick almost. Like it's kind of like Aquaphor. You rub it in and like you put, you can put it like over your eyes and your face. And so sometimes to lock in like what I just did, instead of the Aquaphor, I'll come in and like put this on my lips, under my eyes. And so I'll just wake up feeling super hydrated. And then, but I have a gua sha that I'll sometimes like go through just like, cause it feels good. This is more of a morning thing. Like I don't care if I'm puffy at night at all. Like I, if I go to bed, Looking like a blower, like a puffer fish, don't care. It's more of a you thing, like it's more for your, figure out what works for you at the end of the day. Have fun with it, like don't be too hard on yourself like if you're not doing it every single day. That is one thing I've noticed though, with my routine is that it is the most effective when I am super consistent. Every morning and night, waking up and like making sure like my face is barely ever, has sweat on it for too long, has, I don't know, just hasn't, really giving it too much attention in, in a bit. So yeah, I always like to try to stay clean, drink lots of water. That's something that has really affected my skin, like staying hydrated. And I know that's like, sounds so like cliche. Like it happens a lot when I travel, when I don't drink a lot of water, I can like feel my face just being dry. And that's never a good feeling. It is 10.39 PM and I'm gonna go to bed. I had a, just a tiring, like I'm just tired. I think I have some like sleep debt that I gotta, Makeup, so I'm gonna try to get to bed soon. I'm gonna try to be eyes shut by 11. That's about it. All right, well, that was the end of the video, and I don't, I don't wanna sound too corny, but if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment. I talked about earlier in the in the office space what I said to comment, right? Like we had discussions, collabs. Let me know. I think that'd be a fun little thing to add to the channel. Get some people on here. Maybe do just like a Q&A with other people. I think that'd be fun. A little podcast vibe. And make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notifications, don't miss it. That was a fun video today, easy, very easy. I Sometimes I feel like I'm boring and I don't wanna be boring for you guys. But I understand like when I ask, like, what do you guys want to see? A lot of you guys are like, don't overthink it. Just be yourself. Take us with you. And I'm like, I really appreciate that because it makes my life easier. But at the same time, like I want to do, I want to feed y'all a bit more. Like let's, let's have some fun on the channel. So l let me know ideas of what you guys want to see. Let's make it fun. Thank you guys for spending the day with me. That was a pretty low maintenance yet mentally just like a lot to kind of think on. I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. So anybody in the comments wanna put your phone number in the comments? Yeah, <laughs> did you imagine? It's just, it's just because this channel just becomes a dating. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's just funny holding you guys like this. Like, look at your setup right now. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Have a look. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> Go, just do it for the bit.